All right, guys, so it is Tuesday afternoon, like 2.46. <laughs> we had yesterday off. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, we have this little survey thing that we're supposed to take in the morning with the employees. Um, right now, I think it's in a trial phase and we're going to the school selected. But basically, it's just like to check how you're doing, like if you're sick. <laughs> So I filled it out honestly and it said that I'm supposed to stay at home. I wasn't clear to come to work. And then it, said, it also said to contact your supervisor, which I did. And he's like, um, you can still come in. So, I mean, I am feeling way better. It's like basically 95% better. I'm pretty sure it's like maybe allergies or something. Cause when I was outside this morning, I was like coughing a lot, but once I was inside, it was fine. So. But tomorrow is when more students are coming back. More specifically, two in my group. Um, and then I don't know how I'm supposed to move classrooms because it looked like my desk would need to be moved. Because I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> and someone will be moving in here, but it's not until the 23rd. So I don't know if the teacher that was in there previously is completely out because she also had a parent. So I don't know if they're completely out yet. <clears throat> I think she said she was waiting because she needed keys to like the closet in her new classroom because she has stuff she needs to move. So right now I'm like the only person. <laughs> yeah. so that one teacher is in a different hallway. Um, another teacher left early. Well, not early, early but she like left like 2.20 to go to a different elementary school, her and other new teachers, along with the principal. And then the <clears throat> academic coach left. She left super early. Yeah. Just like she has a Zoom from like 11 to 6. <laughs> she's like, she's not going to be at school. <laughs> so we have a part time teacher, but she should have left already. And I think she's also going to be using that other room more, I think, instead of being down this way as much. And I think tomorrow we'll give the students that come like every Wednesday, I guess. They're gonna be using one of these rooms tomorrow. Well, that room, because they can't use this room because I'm gonna be in here. Because <laughs> my desk is still in here. Everything else is not gonna take long move because I didn't bring that much stuff, which I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> but normally the gifted are in the media center, but the counselor has been doing her lesson I guess this week in the media center in that um, yeah. so I'm just gonna update my board and grades the window the grading window is open it closes on Friday the report first come out next week I think the the type of instruction will stay the same until winter break so. I was wondering about that. <laughs> like if they might be able to change it during a progress report, but it looks like it's gonna have to wait until the next grading period. So that's a long way away. So I'm glad that's not gonna be changed anytime soon. Okay. Still have three that will be virtual. This weekend was <laughs> pretty bad because I was sick. It's probably worse Saturday. Mm -hmm. Still somewhat bad Sunday, but not too bad Monday, but Monday. I ended up spending like three and a half hours at the repair shop. But the time went by fast because I brought some stuff with me. Like I'm trying to teach myself Korean. <laughs> so I brought some materials and the time went by fast. So. And then I watched some online concerts. So. That was pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Next break is until Veterans Day and it's on a Wednesday which is strange to me. Yeah. Um, I need to figure out when my next IEP is uh, so I can make sure I do the notice ahead of time. <coughs> now I have looked. <coughs> Looks like my next one is November 12th. So today after. Veterans Day. 
That's a Thursday. Oh, okay, good. Is that a decent time? Then I have one decent referred. So, spread out enough. Luckily, the next one is a student that I have data for, but I need to start grabbing those students. Like, once every other week. I'm still doing the online stuff. Actually, I need to send a message to the parents on Class Studio to remind them that the students don't need to be doing the online stuff, like Jeeves and Lexi and stuff. So like the next two and a half months, I only have two IEP. <laughs> that is that is good. So okay, so far I'm like in elementary school way better than middle school. Yeah, so hopefully I'm gonna sleep early tonight because I'm tired. I've been trying to get up early to review some Korean and then do stuff in the evening as well. So. I want to do like review in the morning and new stuff in the evening, but I'm like, I'm like a hit roadblock. Because um, <laughs> BTS released this program, Learn Korean with BTS, so I've been using that as my main source. And I'm like stuck in a chapter because I don't want to move on until I got most of the vocab down. Um, but I do use some other stuff, um, some app, or two app, and I just I purchased some books, like, I, not too long ago, and they just arrived today, so we'll see how that goes, and then I also use some YouTube videos, um, there's a lot of free stuff online, <coughs> so, yeah, I'm like, huh, why did I start this? back when we first quarantined. I didn't even think about it. That's gonna be it for today. I don't know when I would talk with you guys next, but it'll be sometime this week. <laughs> All right guys, so it is Friday, 7.49. Um, yeah, also, it's my birthday. <laughs> but so far, this week has been okay. I mean, it was a short week. We did get new students back on Wednesday. For me, that's two new students, and so far I haven't had any problem. Um, one of them, they were saying, but he could have some issues, but so far, so good. So. <coughs> and it's gonna be staying like this until after this now week ends, so. If I do get new students, it won't be till like, I guess, when they come back in January after winter break. Also today, grades are final for the first nine week report cards come out next week i'm gonna change the scoring for one thing so it should help them a little bit more um still need to talk to someone about moving my furniture otherwise it should be a good day someone brought donuts and little mini sunny delight <laughs> And good like, Krispy Kreme donut. So, and then yesterday at church brought like popcorn and Cokes for us. I am not getting better. <laughs> I was, but then it seems like it's not, it got a little bit worse. But, so before I was at like 95%, I was at like 92%. So, I don't know. <laughs> and then the weather, I think the weather is part of it because before, like in the morning, it's been like in the high 60s and then in the afternoon, in the 80, today it's like high, high 50s and then it's only supposed to get up into the 70s this afternoon, so. <clears throat> but in science and social studies, there have been tests, so that means some students will be in here. <laughs> And I'll be doing a pull-out group for the students that we like read aloud. Um, not having a test in ELA, normally we do have it on Fridays, but in Reading Wonder is like every five days. Since we have Monday off, our test will be on Monday. And then math, we're doing a quiz, a timed quiz, so it's gonna be short. <laughs> And definitely way better with the students in person because I'm actually doing work 
as opposed to when there one there is that one student online who's been doing his work so but the other two that are still virtual one of them I don't I don't know what he'd be doing <laughs> when he shows up and this one issue some of them are showing up late like one of them especially 30 minutes late to class which is a lot especially when the class is only an hour how can you be 30 minutes late when you literally just have to click on a link that makes no sense so <laughs> Um, I do will need to do like some progress monitoring for one student if he shows up. I'm gonna have the para do that in the breakout room. Um, site words. I think it's the, the progress reports for IEP goals need to be put in because they're due 20. So, most of them are good to go except so, but that is going to be it for now i will check in with you guys later all right guys so it's 3 53 back home after stuffing my starbucks getting my birthday drink <laughs> and then i might also order something maybe we'll see but yeah um so today went for the most part went well no problem yet they wasn't able to move my stuff into the room next door yet. They said if they don't have time this afternoon, they'll do it on Monday. I was able to go ahead and plan for the week after next because next week plans were done last week. So that was a plus. I didn't think I would get to it since it was a shorter week, but I was able to do ELA and math. So finalized my grades as well. Uh -huh. It's a little easy because they have like a multi-post grade so you could finalize all the different classes you teach at the same time and they make the process easier well i don't know if it's easier because it's elementary as compared to a middle school because the process last year and the year before was a little more difficult but when i looked at it this year it was way easier so i don't know if they just updated the system in general or this is just the way it is at elementary school uh, yeah, and we have a couple of weeks until our next break, which would be Veterans Day, which I think is on a Wednesday. Yes, because I think my one of my IEPs is scheduled for that Thursday after. <laughs> so, um, I think we have three weeks, three full weeks until Veterans Day, and then we would have. After that, we would have like the rest of that week and then another full week before Thanksgiving. We had a whole week for Thanksgiving. They didn't change that. No furlough days or nothing like that. But, uh, I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving, but even more so to winter break because it's longer. Because the week just goes by uh, super quick. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm just going to be studying some Korean. I need to figure out a better schedule. <clears throat> I did get up early and do the apps or whatnot, but I have like books and stuff that I also want to go through. But, so we got new students, one term is done, and it was a short week, so it was a lot going on this week. Then when I was getting ready to leave, we have these alert system thing in our classroom, but it started flashing. So. <laughs> We have these little card things that when you press the button, depending on how many times you press it and for how long you hold it, it means different things. But I don't, so I don't know if it was like something going on or if they were just testing it. Cause I do know they had a safety team meeting. So I think it was just something related to that. Like maybe they were just testing it. I don't know, but they didn't say anything. It was something related to the safety team. That is going to be it for this week's vlog. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week.